Okay, so we're gonna dip in. Okay, pull it out. What's going on everybody? Chris Jones here with the World's Worst Fishing. Um, thanks for being here today. This is gonna be a really fun video. We have never had a mold like this ever. Um, <clears throat> in fact, we've only ever had one, just one individual tube mold ever in my entire shop. And uh, this one is particularly unique because of the way that it does the tails and how you can take the tails off without needing a tube cutter. And they're teeny tiny, right? So, I mean, this is, uh, you know, panfish, um, you know, little panfish size uh, tubes. And that's something that I used to throw a lot in high school. I, you know, I had a lot more time to fish back then like we all did. And um, we, we called it jigging for specks. Uh, you know, specks being crappie down here in the south, and uh, we would put on little little grubs and little tubes on jig heads and uh, go kind of jig them down the boat trails. And uh, I remember always thinking, man, these little tubes are so cool, and I never knew how they were made, right, back in those days. And uh, now we get to make our first ones ever. I have never made a panfish tube, so um, this is going to be really fun. Okay, so here's the listing. Um, Check, I mean, just, wow, just take a look, right? So, the skillet tube mold, I love it. Uh, and what's great is, you know, I mentioned that there were two different molds, right? Well, they can actually be kind of used together, and I'll explain that here in a second. Um, so here are some product details of the mold right there. No cutting of the tails is required. Um, what's really awesome, okay, here it is right here. The 192 mold can be used as a tail mold for the 250 mold. And essentially what you can do, yeah, this is really cool right here. You can see how you just twist the tails off. Watch that. Look at this. Incredible. And so what it allows you to do is essentially um, use this one as your tail color, and then you can dip right or insert it into the other mold so i don't want to get too complicated showing you or just telling you how to do it right now obviously we're gonna we're gonna show you how to do it um but it's it's really really neat how these molds work together to give you the most creative freedom um so you can essentially have that split tail color right the tail can be pink and the body can be black or the body can be purple or your tail can be white and your body can be yellow. You know, just whatever you want to do, um, this mold system allows you to do it. Okay, here it is. Let's break it down for you. So you can see over here we have the 190. You can see over here we have the 250. What are the differences in the two? Well, <clears throat> length, but only by like just a smidge. I think one is 1.9 inches and the other is 1.8. Um, here's sort of how this works, okay? You have this little insert. Look at this, right? That allow. Oop. Okay, let's get it in focus, right? That allows you to basically inject this, and it creates the tails for you. Why won't this focus? Hold on, people. Really want to get this right. There it is. Okay. Right. As you can see, the tube body goes over this shaft, and then the tube. Uh, I guess you know. Um, tails kind of fill in these grooves okay and then you shoot twist it right on off however um, let's look at how it fits into the mold because this is really really creative okay see how the the body right here on the 190 is thinner than the diameter of the tail what this allows you to do is whenever you whenever you shoot this tube okay you can now take this out okay and keep it on the rod essentially and dip the body so what they've done is they've made the body thinner on purpose to allow you to then dip the bodies right hand dip them or you can actually insert it into the other mold and then inject around it and fill the body in around it both do the same thing. It gives you a separate body color from the tail color. And that's really, really cool that they thought of this. And that's why this one has a thinner diameter. So if we look in comparison to the 250, look at, look at the diameters of the bodies. You can see a, a pretty noticeable difference there. And that's to allow room for you to hand dip 
new layers of color over the body. And like I mentioned, you can take this right out of the mold and actually put it in there and it essentially works like any other injection tail mold at that point. Um, so I hope that made sense. We will definitely show you all of this in person. Um, but what a, what a great way to introduce this um, by having those options. All right, so we have to oil up these splines, okay? Um, and so what we did is we basically drizzled them in uh, some worm oil, and then we kind of want to roll them out to try to get some of that worm oil off because we have to try to get them lubricated but not so much worm oil that the worm oil kind of, I guess, um, the, the, what's the word I'm looking for? We don't want the worm oil to sort of fill in, I guess, parts of that and block plastic because you can get, you can actually get so much oil in something, right, that it will actually fill in these grooves and mess up your shot, but you need, you need them lubricated so that the tails will come off. So. That's sort of what we're thinking is, um, you know, oil them up real good and then kind of pat them off a little bit. Uh, you know, Gary at AI was, was do, using a sponge to get some of the oil off. So you got to kind of figure out how to hit that happy medium. Um, and then from there, I, th I think you're good. But, uh, you know, you don't just want to lubricate them to death and then throw them right in. You'll have so much oil that you'll actually be blocking the path of the plastic. So... Uh, we're gonna try this the first time and see if that worked. Okay, so I have a plan and I think it's gonna work out pretty good. We're gonna start with a heavy hitter, the original MF changeable motor oil. The stuff you cannot get anymore. That's what I think of these molds. We are breaking out the good stuff. But no, seriously, um, I hope this works out because I think y'all will really, really, really like it if it does. And so will I. So yeah, let's see, okay. Oh, this stuff is so cool. All right. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, that's it for the color. All right, so it's been suggested to shoot this kind of fast without holding pressure, because you don't want to flash it, so we're just gonna kinda, all right. And there's not a lot of plastic that goes in them, so they don't really draw in. You don't really have to hold pressure or uh, really probably even top off the sprues here. But, um, you know, I, uh, I waited till the plastic was pretty cold, probably about that 320 range. And as you can see, just quick little, uh, quick little runs there, trying not to press too hard but we also want everything to fill, and this is our first time, so we're gonna see how we did. All right, so the first run, as you can see, I didn't quite get the tails to fill all the way, but now I kind of have the feel for it, right, with the injector, and I know that I can apply a little bit more pressure and, um, and uh, probably get these to fill, so uh, yeah, but what's cool is you can kind of see how the tail works, right? You just kind of rotate it, and then it comes off. Look at that. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get them right on this uh, second round. All right, so the plastic is a little bit hotter this time and we're gonna shoot it, um, we're gonna inject it a little bit more aggressively, but not by much. Again, we want things to fill, but we don't want to, uh, we really don't want to flash. Okay. We'll try that and see what happens. Okay, let's see if we did better. Yeah, this go around. Yeah, there it is. Okay, looks like most of them filled. Yeah, you can see they're going the whole length. Maybe a smidge of flashing around the body, but uh, hey, I'm very happy with those. So I guess uh, I guess let's just get one out. We'll just start with this one on the end. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? So let's go ahead, do the little twist trick. Isn't that neat? Look at that. It's like watching a squid come to life or something. I wonder if I need to let the plastic set up a little bit more. Because these are still pretty gooey. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll let these set up a little bit more before I like rip these tails in half. 
Yeah, so first one officially down. Yep. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and take some more of these off here in just a minute. And uh, then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the other mold, which is the one that is designed for adding a body color. Because this one by itself, you really don't want to use it by itself um, because the body's so thin. Um, you, you really want this one if you want those split tail colors. So this is sort of the mold that you want if you just want the complete package without having to do anything to the body. You want the 250, you want the 190 if you want to get uh, color creative and that's what we're going to do next. All right, so I'm pretty sure I got the hang of it. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get another one off, okay? And, um, oops, you really, really want to twist a lot. I wasn't twisting enough at first. I was uh, going a little easy on it. So twist both ways. Yeah, you know, now we can really start uh, working this stuff off. So yeah, there we go. All right, just like that. Oh, we almost got it. There's like two more. Sorry if that was really out of focus. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> and one more because this is actually really fun. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Look at that. It's amazing. <laughs> that is absolutely so much fun. I cannot even describe how satisfying it is to watch that happen. Look at that. Tiny tube. Yes, sir. Y'all want to see something awesome? Look at that. <laughs> and it's hard to beat that changeable motor oil. Look at this. Look at that. That was fun. Like, I'm just, I'm just going to tell y'all right now, this is just straight up fun. All right, so here's how this works, okay? We're going to get one out, okay? This is the 190. All right, we need to make sure that that goes back in. <laughs> now, either way, that goes back in, okay? And then essentially, this now becomes a tail mold, all right? We're just going to put that in there. And then, if you look closely, whatever body color you want to inject over that fills in that gap, okay? So essentially, the 190 becomes your tail mold, all right? And so, what we're now going to do is obviously load all of these up, okay? But what happens if you want the split tail color, um, you know, uh, capability of the 190, but you don't want to have to buy the 250 just to flip, you know, swap them and, and, uh, and, and shoot the body colors. Well, you can just do hand dipping, okay? You can essentially take a cup of plastic, all right? Okay, we'll zoom out, right? And you can only take the 190 and then heat up your color and then just dip to the length of the body in plastic. Um, and so we're going to show you both ways. So one of my favorite ways to do motor oil is to do motor oil red flake, okay? So essentially, we're just going to use clear and just load it up with red flake. And so what you'll get is sort of almost a core shot effect, right? Because the body is that motor oil. And then we're going to have an outer clear shell with some red flake that's only going to be in the body portion. So, um, yeah. Yeah. This is so awesome to be able to do this. Okay, here we go. Let's see how we do. Okay. All right. And uh, yeah, hopefully these turn out. All right, so probably needed more red flake, but again, never done anything like this. So you can see lots of red flake in here, but once it thins out, into those bodies, it's not as much, but I still like it. It's very subtle, um, and you know, I guess that's technically better than too much red flake. Um, so we'll go ahead and get one out. All right. Okay. Oops, sorry. Out of focus. Out of focus. All right. And let's see. If we can get it off here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do the little twist trick. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And looky here. 
Isn't that cool? Split body motor oil red flake. Yeah, there it is. A subtle, subtle difference, um, but I like it. It gives it some character over the solid color. So, oops, let's uh, bring one of the solids over here. So yeah, just a slight difference there. So now we're gonna get a little more colorful. We're gonna do some laminates and then do some uh, body dipping over the laminate. It's about to get crazy. Okay, here we go. Come on, baby. Line up. There we go. Whew. I think I've never done this before. Okay. All right, we'll meet you back. Okay, and there they are. So I'll show you one. Yeah, check that out. <laughs> Could have even um, strengthened the pink a little bit. You know, just uh, dealing with colors this small, or baits this small, it kind of forces you to rethink your saturations a little bit. And then uh, now we're going to work up a body color. Okay, and so now basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate how you would do this if you did not have the 250, right? So if you did not have the other mold to put the bodies in and inject as a tail mold, right? You can still get this split body color, all right? And here we go. We're just literally dipping it in. Look at that. We'll go two dips just to uh just to make sure right let it kind of drip off the end there okay i want to let it drip uh as straight up and down as possible because you're going to get like a little bit of a, a dimple right in the nose as you can see there and you want that to be why is it this not in focus yeah Yep, and you want that to be uh, as straight up and down as you can get it. Okay, all right. So now what we're gonna do is actually set this down. These actually will sit down um, like straight, oops, straight up and down. The, what you wanna try to do is avoid anything touching the black body while it is curing, okay? All right, let's see if this looks a little bit better. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna dip in. Okay, pull it out. One more dip, just to try to fill in that body diameter. Okay, then we're just gonna kind of let it drain or let it drip. See that right there? See how it's doing that? We're just gonna let it let it sit for a minute, and you can always, uh, you know, clean that off with a pair of scissors. You know, <laughs> you're not gonna leave it like that, but um, that's sort of the idea. So. We'll go ahead and just kind of remove that. And there it is. Yes, okay, there they are. Two of them didn't work out, but that's okay. Yeah. Look at them from all angles here. Need one of those little tables that rotates, you know, like a little watch display case or something, but yeah. Very nice. So you definitely get a little bit better execution of the body when you have the 250 mold to, uh, to plug it into. You know, obviously, you know, just being injection, you're just gonna get a little bit better consistency. Um, so if we look here, right, oops, you can just see that that body, right, is just a little bit better than that one. Obviously, we are splitting hairs, um, but I did, you know, obviously want to get into, uh, you know, dipping because dipping is really fun. It, it kind of gives you a little bit more of a personal touch, right, to your bait, but you can also dip multiple layers. And, you know, there's only probably so much you're going to want to do with a bait this small, but, you know, you can dip into one color and then to another color and have multiple tier colors going up the body. Um, if you are so inclined, so, you know, there's, 
that advantage there to dipping, but I think ultimately a bait this small having this ability, um, you know, to, to take these on the spline um, or, or the insert as we'll call it and then, then plug them in here. I think you're definitely going to get a little bit better results as a whole, but as you can see, the uh, the hand dipping the bodies is super fun, and uh, that's really cool to see a three color tube that small. So no world's worst fishing video, especially a new release day video, a new mold day video, is complete without laundry noise. We got the dryer running. I'm not a fan. Um, however, what I am a fan of is how fun this mold is. So. Um, it is very satisfying to twist those tails off and watch them come out. Um, and what's great about that is that you're not trying to cut the tails. I mean, anybody that makes tubes, um, you know, will tell you that cutting the tails is sort of the labor part of the process. Um, you know, I mean, that's why there are all of these great tube cutters available, even pneumatic air, you know, uh, pneumatic tube cutters, um, you know, to simply try to, um, overcome that challenge and you know this with the internal um, insert spline spindle whatever it is uh, you know that kind of eliminates that um, you know the only caveat there is you know you got to make sure that you oil them which anyone who's ever done core shots you know is used to having to oil things up you know as, as long as you're um, you know have something to, to lubricate them with whether it be worm oil um, any sort of spray lubricant you know, all of that stuff will really work. But however, we're not done yet because here comes a bonus color. Okay, so far we have all of this goodness right here, but now we need to do something completely different. So let's figure out what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna get a little wild with it. We're gonna use some hollow shift. This is Crown Royal, okay, all right. Yeah, I think everyone enjoys some Crown Royal every now and then. We, we really want to load this in because, uh, you know, hey, saturations need to be up. And, uh, you know, I don't get to use these hollow shifts a whole lot, so we're going to see uh, how this turns out. This might be kind of fun. Just a little bonus, uh, I guess, uh, I won't call it an exploration. We'll call it a, uh, a little, hmm, experiment, yeah. They're hard to... Uh, <laughs> They're hard to focus on because there's like so they're so reflective. So I went ahead and put in a little bit of sparkle flake and some black flake. So that is violet sparkle flake. Yeah, see how they're like hard to focus? Yeah. Pretty cool. You can see a little of the shift, a little of the shift there. Yeah. Very nice. Here's a little bonus bait footage for you. Some uh, foil inlaid G6. Look at that. Lots of layering. Yep. And multicolor foils. So there's like sort of like a darkish maroon. There's orange, gold, and green foils in there. Which kind of gives it a, a cool effect. Lots of shading and layering. Yeah. Yeah, the G6 wears these kind of colors. Awesome. Well, guys, we are uh, ending this video with a really special announcement. We finally hit 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Um, so we will be doing a dedicated video to that. We'll uh, unbox, you know, the play button. Hopefully I get one. I don't even know anymore. Um, and, um, and then we're going to do some really special giveaways. And... Um, I want that video to sort of be like a tribute to y'all because without the audience, you know, we're not at 100,000 subscribers. So, um, really exciting. Um, can't say thank you enough to everyone who's been on this journey over the years. Um, but yeah, the crappie tube, absolutely amazing. And what an amazing deal this mold is um, to get that many cavities at that price point. An amazing, uh, you know, collaboration. Um, but between the two molds to give you both of those options and um, just a, just an awesome thing and, and I think a lot of people who have seen it already may have been like nah no way that's gonna work and hopefully now that is clear the mold works really well um, I uh, <clears throat> I had plans when I 
shot the first part of this video over the past weekend to actually take them out, rig them up, take them fishing. Unfortunately, the Masters, the golf tournament, got in the way, those stupid golfers. Um, so I was not able to film um, due to some circumstances <laughs> regarding the Masters and not being able to get babysitting. So um, with that said, we're gonna end the video here. Um, shoot me um, some comments down below and let me know, um, you know, not only kind of which color was your favorite that we did, but also if you're if you're thinking about buying this mold, um, because I think it's something that is somewhat of a gap in the mold market. There's really only one other option like this, um, and it's it's a mold that not a lot of people are familiar about. So um, you know, hopefully we're gonna shine some new light on the idea of a crappie tube and tubes of that size. And I'll give you a little hint, AI is gonna release a slightly larger version of this. So that's coming down the pipe. And, uh, and again, be on the lookout for sort of a celebration and giveaway video of reaching that milestone. Um, I didn't think it was gonna happen for a long time. So um, thank you guys so much. And uh, we look very much forward to seeing y'all in the next video.